The story of Exodus is huge because in this story, you've got God telling Moses, hey, warn these people. Mm. That if they don't, they don't let you go, this is what I'm going to do to them. Mm. And then time and time again, God follows through, mm. you, you know, with all the plagues. And I think it's an important mm. time to show your disciple that God isn't bluffing. Mm. You, you know, sometimes, you, you know, you, you see parents, and, and depending on what type of home you grew up in, some parents will say, hey, you do this, Johnny, and, you know, I'm going to send you to your room. And then they don't do it. Mm. You, you know, they right. don't follow through with the punishment. So we get this attitude almost like, well, when God says it, you know, it's just kind of this, no, he said this, I mean, killing the firstborn of every household. I mean, that seems just like, wow, well, how could God do that? But we learn about the nature of God through his actions yes. and go, no, if God says he's going to do it, he's really going to do it. He, he drowned all of those people in that sea. He, he literally had them weeping and wailing every house going, my firstborn is dead. And... I know we don't like to talk about yeah. these things, but it's reality. It uh, our culture is, is, is trying to make us think, oh, God would never carry out his wrath. Right. And therefore, a lot of people in the church think, oh, that's, that's not the God I believe in. Mm -hmm. But remember, and this goes back to why stuff in the previous lessons have been foundational. Like, we believe this word and we trust God. And, and this picture of his wrath, there's obviously questions, all kinds of questions that should come up as we read stories like this. Like, wow, this is judgment and death and punishment that's being poured out here. But to remember that God's wrath, it's, it's not disconnected from his love. His wrath and his love go together. And, and love, in a sense, requires wrath. Like, if I love Jewish people, then I will hate the Holocaust. Mm -hmm. I will absolutely hate it. If I love my wife and kids, I will be absolutely, I am absolutely opposed to anything that will bring them harm. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. God's love is not indifferent. God's love, He is absolutely opposed to what destroys us mm -hmm. and uh, what hinders us. He mm -hmm. hates sin. And the beauty of the gospel, and so to bring the... Every, Whenever you wrestle through these questions with the people you're discipling, bring it back to the gospel. So the whole picture of the cross is yeah. God's love and His wrath displayed in one. Yeah. His wrath, this is His judgment on sin being poured out. At the same time, this is His love because He's enduring that judgment in our place. Yeah. And so if we dilute the wrath of God, we'll actually miss out on the, the glory of God's love in the process. So yeah. these are it, good questions. It is because through. it's also, this may be the first part where someone's going, well, I don't like that hmm. about God. That doesn't sit well with me. And we can take on a very arrogant attitude mm -hmm. of, well, God can't do this. The God I believe, well, this mm -hmm. is just who, that, like when he was talking mm -hmm. to Moses the first time and Moses, who should I say sent me? He goes, I am who I am. Mm -hmm. That's, that's a strong, I, 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 there's no one to compare me to. I, I am who I am. I am it doesn't, he doesn't say, I am whoever you want me to be, whatever you like about me. You, you know, whatever you feel in your heart, he goes, I am who I am. Tell him that's who sent you. Like there was a sense of authority. And again, it goes back to creation. You, you know, it goes back to, wait, he's the creator. Who am I to say, he had no right to do that to Egypt. He had no mm. right to do it to the firstborn of, mm. uh, you know, these, these are the times to get some of this, arrogance that's in all of us mm. um, just to bring it to the surface and go you know what sometimes i i almost judge god mm. yes. and say he shouldn't be this way because i don't like that and yet we all have different ideas of what he ought to be like and especially you start going to other countries and what they think god ought to be like based upon mm. what they were raised with mm. and that's why again god's word yeah and it's a dangerous thing we start pointing the finger at god and saying you're not good mm. And we don't say, we may not say that, we start to think it, but we need to be careful to remember we, there's, He is all wise, He is all knowing, and, and, and even to flesh out the practical implications of this. So when it comes to His wrath, as you st continually, so the, the lesson on the fall is not the only time we need to spend time in confession yeah. of sin. So as you continue to to confess sin to each other as you're walking through these lessons and spending life, spending time in your lives with each other, to remember, man, God hates this sin. Uh, and so, but, but also to remember that Jesus has taken the wrath to us, so we don't have to 
We don't have to be afraid of His wrath anymore as followers of Christ. We've been yeah. delivered from His wrath. But so, so we don't run from sin now mm -hmm. because we yeah. fear His wrath toward us. We run from sin now because we feel His wrath towards sin. We know He hates this, and mm -hmm. so we want to run from it. And then it also motivates us to share the gospel yeah. and make disciples. Why do we need to do this? Well, for so many reasons, but one of them is there are people who God has said in His Word that live right around you and the people that you're discipling who are under His judgment, apart from Christ, and on a road that leads to eternal wrath. And we have good news of God's grace. And so to to constantly come back to who you're sharing the gospel with. Like mm -hmm. this is not just for personal intake here. This is for people's lives for eternity or based on whether or not they believe these things and follow Christ. And so let there be motivation for sharing the gospel and making disciples from passages like these. Yeah.